The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Introducing first, from Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Demon. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting teams ready to go here tonight in tag team action. And I can tell you that the entire tag team division has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. And his partner from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 206 pounds, the same. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 1,280 pounds, Atunga the Mastodon, and Atunga the Mastodon. This is it, tag team action underway here, guys. And whichever team wins this match oh. here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. Tag. What's gonna happen here? This might be it! Oh, my! What a stomp! Good grief! What a strike! Oh. Leg sweep! Nicely done! Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better 
Checker's nose. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. Oof! There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Gets the tag. Ugh, targeting the stomach. He's fading fast. Yes, man. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. I'm not used to seeing this. If by some miracle he goes on to win this match, we'll be talking about this comeback for generations to come. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members oh, Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Here he goes. Beautiful technique. Can he finish the job? Oh, no. The claw. What a dreaded move. Game, set, match. This one is over. Trust me, you do not want to get caught in that move. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro, this could be it. Well, look into your modeling career. That should do it. He's got him covered. And the ref goes down. We need a new ref out here fast. Jarring impact. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue the domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sideboard. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down, and the third fall was ruled a double counter. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. 
Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. Hey, but it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Von Eric Claw. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like... We've seen this before. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. In off the tag. Oh, targeting the stomach. He's struggling with it here. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. Hey, while he might not want to hear it now, sometimes there are positives you can take from a beating like this. the energy to do that in off the tag big elbow oh boy he is rolling the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Ooh. He gets him with a reversal. tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance and it's because of action like this. Nice cross body. He's looking good now, guys. Yeah, that move amazes me every time. Camel clutch. Camel clutch. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Irish whip. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh. Inching closer to and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. No, there's the reversal. Two. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. 
Up and down. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Ooh, victory is on the horizon. Could have gone either way there for a while. What we just saw there was a doctorate class in tag team competition. They just took the game to a whole other level. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.